decide is the Bhajan Kutya of Srila Rupa Goswami Pad, where he composed many of his beautiful books of poetry. And on this side, we'll come here now. This is the Samadhi, the Maha Samadhi of Srila Rupa Goswami Pad. He is eternally here. Remembering the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Radha Krishna and blessing the world. Srila Rupa Goswami Pad. By the causes must have seen Guran Guranga. Now we have come to this place which is the most dear place to, for all the followers of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Within Saiba Kunj, Srila Rupa Goswami Pad is eternally performing his bhajan. After receiving sannyas from our Param Gurudev and staying at Keshavaji Gauri Martin Mathura, it was here, just behind. Srila Prabhupada came here to do his bhajan very, very as close as possible to Srila Rupa Goswami. So his room is just a real comment. <laughs> Srila Natam Das Thakura has glorified Srila Rupa Goswami. Sri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Stapitangye Nabhutale. It was Srila Rupa Goswami Pad who manifest within this world the mission to fulfill the Mano Vishta, the innermost heart's desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was dancing before Lord Jagannath in Jagannath Puri Ratayatra festival, then Mahaprabhu was singing a verse of mundane poetry. And people were wondering, what is he doing? What is he saying? No one un understood. Srila Swarup Damodar Goswami, the incarnation of Lalita Saki could understand. But Swarup Damodar Goswami, 
though he was the most learned person, no one knew because he did not speak. But by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Rupa Goswami, he realized what Mahaprabhu was feeling. And Rupa Goswami's speciality is that he is Vachal. Vachal means talkative. And very confidential things that were in the heart of Mahaprabhu, he could not check himself and he revealed it to the world through his writing. So Srila Rupa Goswami composed another verse which was openly expressing how the verse Mahaprabhu was saying was uh, expressing the mood of Radha and Krishna's meeting at Kurukshetra. And in that verse, Srila Rupa Goswami has manifested the glories of a Parakya Rasa. So, Srila Kavi Karnapur, in his Chaitanya Chandradaya Natakam, he said, Brindavan yam rasakeli vartam kalena luptam nija shaktim utka santaryu rupe vyatanot punasa prabhu vido pragiva loka shistim. Just as when the uh, universe is in the state of pralai, it is annihilated, then when the pralai is over, the Supreme Lord empowers Lord Brahma to create the universe again. So in the same way, after the disappearance of Radha Krishna, the Vrindavanyam Rasa Keli Vartam, the Rasa Katar of Vrindavan disappeared and Supreme Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu empowered Srila Rupa Goswami to manifest the universe of Braja Radha Krishna Leela Katar. Он сказал, что подобно тому, как когда приходит пролай, всемирный поток разрушения, и вся вселенная разрушается, и потом, когда, новая, когда создается новая вселенная, и Господь наделяет Господа Браму силой для того, чтобы создать эту новую вселенную, таким же образом, после ухода Радхи и Кришны, когда Раса Каха исчезает из этого мира, то... то тогда Шри Читани Махапрабху, инкарнация Радхи и Кришны, наделяет Шри Рупа Госвами милостью, вот это вот снова дать этот поток Лила Кадхи Радхи Кришна. descended to this world with a treasure chest full of the Mahanidhi, the great treasures of Prem. But it was locked with a very big padlock. And no one had the power to open it. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu kept the key with Srila Rupa Goswami And it was Srila Rupa Goswami who opened that treasure chest of the treasures of love to distribute to the world and fulfill the innermost heart's desire of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And 
распространила вот эти вот сокровища прямо по всему миру. What is the Mano Bishta of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Этим он исполнил Mano Bishta Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Что это за Mano Bishta? What is that? Mano Ashram Dharma? Cow protection? Hmm? Prasad and distribution? Что это? Это защита коров, раздача просада. First, the reason Mahaprabhu came to this world was to realize the Madanakya Mahabhava of Srimati Radharani. В первую очередь, Шри Читани Махапрабху явился в этот мир, чтобы испытать Махабаву Шри Матери Радхарани. But no one knew what that was. Но никто не знал, что это. Even people didn't have a clear understanding of the difference between the pure bhakti and bhakti, which is mixed with karma, jnana and yoga. И люди даже не понимали, в чем разница между чистым бхакти и тем бхакти, которое смешано с гьяной, кармой и йогой. So just as a swan has the power to separate a mixture of milk and water, and take the milk and leave the water. И подобно тому, как лебедь умеет отделить молоко от воды и принимает только молоко. So if Srila Rupa Goswami had not come into this world, who could have separated the mixed bhakti, mishra bhakti from the shuddha bhakti? Если бы Шрила Рупа Госвами не явился в этот мир, то кто бы тогда сумел разделить Шута Бхакти, чистая Бхакти, от Миша Бхакти, смешанного Бхакти? Who could have separated the Sadhana Bhakti from the Bhav Bhakti from the Prema Bhakti? Кто бы тогда отделил Sadhana Bhakti от Bhava Bhakti, от Prema Bhakti? Who had the discrimination to know that within Prem there is Prem and then at more advanced Prem, Sneha, Man, Pranayat, Rag, Anurag, Rudha Bhav, Adhi Rudha Bhav, Modana Kimaha Bhav, Mohana Kimaha Bhav, and then Madana Kimaha Bhav. This was unknown to the world. It was only the Paramahamsa, this one, Rupa Goswami, who separated all the fine fractions of love. <laughs> so, because Mahapu came to taste all this love up to Radhakya's Madanakya Mahabhav, but no one knew, but Rupa Goswami explained it, so he fulfilled, the, he revealed what was Mahapu's in, innermost cause, Mano Bishta. И поскольку Шри Читани Махапрабху хотел вкусить все эти стадии любви, доходя до самой высочайшей стадии Маданаки Бахававы, но никто об этом не знал. Это было внутреннее желание во сердце Манубишта. Именно Шри Ларупа Госвами это объяснил. And what was Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Manobishta in relation to everyone else? То есть это было Манобишта Шри Читани Махапрабху по отношению к самому себе, чего он хотел. That was the distribution. Но кого, но что, что было за Манобишта по отношению ко всем остальным? Это была как бы раздача распространения. That was a distribution of kevala madurya mai swarasiki upasana. Это была раздача кевала мадури мая сварасики упасана. It though many persons were worshiping at the time even Radha and Krishna. В то время очень многие поклонялись Радхе и Кришне. But the speciality of kevala madurya mai that means service to Krishna with no um, the aishwarya bhav, no uh, scent of the relation to Krishna that he is Bhagavan, but completely he, he is the son of Nanda and Yashoda. Но особенность Кемала Мадури Бай, что Майя, что там нет никакой, это поклонение без Айшвари Бавы. Это без понимания того, что Кришна Бог. Это просто очень такое спонтанное, интимное служение. No thought that Krishna is Atmaram Tattva, that he is self-satisfied Bhagavan. Нет никакого понимания, что Кришна это Атмарам Тадва, что это самодостаточный Верховный Господь. In fact, the complete opposite of that. Даже наоборот. The opposite of Atmaram Tattva, Atmaramata is Pararamata. Противоположность атма рамата это пара рамата. Атма рамата means I am completely satisfied by myself. I don't need anyone or anything. Атма рамата означает я полностью удовлетворен сам себе. Мне никто не нужен, а мне ничто не нужно. And пара рамата is the opposite of that extreme opposite that I cannot be happy by myself even for one second. I am completely dependent on someone else for that happiness. Otherwise, I'm miserable. Парамата это полная противоположность. Это означает, что ни на секундочку я не могу быть счастлив сам по себе один. Мне нужен кто-то, чтобы я был счастлив. So in Kevala Madhurya Mai Upasana, the worship of Radha and Krishna, which is extreme sweetness, 
Krishna is the extreme limit of the Pararamata Tattva and Radharani is the extreme limit of the Pararamata Tattva the two Pararamata Tattvas who cannot have any happiness whatsoever whose happiness is totally dependent on each other И, и, и вот в этом сладком настроении поклонения Кришне э, есть две э, параметры это Рака и Криха, то есть это два таких экстремальных проявления параметры тех личностей, которые ни на секунду, ни, ни на долю секунды не могут быть счастливы друг без друга. Это Рака и Кришна. If two atmaramata tattvas meet, then it's not a big celebration. Если встретиться, because they were satisfied before then. И атмарамата тату праздника не будет, они просто будут, ну как бы удовлетворены сами в себе. But when the two extreme Pararamata Tattvas meet together, then there's explosion of rasa. And so, the explosion of rasa, which comes from the meeting of the two Pararamata Tattvas, is actually in truth deeply Parakya rasa. When the Pararamata Tattvas meet, it is Parakya rasa. И вот эта вот точка встречи двух экстремальных примеров программы Татвы – это Паракия, Паракия Раса. So, Kevala Madhurya Mai Swarasiki Upasana. То есть Kevala Madhurya Mai Swarasiki Upasana. Others were serving Radha and Krishna in their meditation. Другие служили Радхе и Кришне в своей медитации. But Radha and Krishna in a state of uh, Nitya Milan. Uh, где Радха и Кришна в состоянии Нитя Милан, вечной встречи. Mm -hmm. Kahu Parki, Kahu Saki, Kalahi Matavadi, Bhagavad Rasika, Radha Krishna, Nitya Milana, Nitya Ananta Anadi. In the other Sampradayas they said, why are people speaking about Parakiya and Swakiya? My Radha Krishna, they are always together, no beginning, no middle and no end, always together. This is just calling over nothing. В других Сампрадаях люди говорят, ну почему вообще люди спорят о Паракия в Расе, о Свакия в Расе? Для меня Радха и Кришна всегда вместе, они никогда не разлучаются, они всегда вместе с Пунджи, и вообще этот вопрос не стоит, люди просто спорят о том, о чем не стоит спорить. But to be always together with lover and beloved in a Kunj, enjoying loving pastimes, this is not Naravat, not human. Но дело в том, что когда возлюбленные и возлюбленные, они выходят из Кунджи, они все время вместе, это не Нараваты, это не подобно ну, жизни людей настоящих. А где твоя мама, твой папа, где общество? Like это больше похоже на Вайкунтху. So, the worship of Radha Krishna always together in the Kunj is the mantra Maya Pasana. It is a lower level of realization. Поэтому uh, поклонение Радхи и Кришне, которое все время в Кунже, это мантра Майя Упасана, это более uh, как бы низкая ступень. And the higher level of realization is Swarasiku Upasana. That is, Radha Krishna's lila is changing location to location. А Swarasiku Upasana, это более высокий уровень реализации. Это когда лила Радхи и Кришны меняет свои локации. So it was Srila Rupa Goswami who gave Radha Krishna Smarana Mangala uh, Stotram the prayer Describing the Astakali Lila of Radha Krishna, which is moving from place to place, on the basis of that, Krishna Skaraj Goswami Pad wrote Govinda Lila Amrita. Even Ashila Rupa Goswami gave a description of Astakali Lila Radha and Krishna, which are moving from place to place. And on the basis of that, Krishna Skaraj Goswami wrote Govinda Lila Amrita. So, and that means in the morning, Radha and Krishna wake up together in the Nikunj. But it's very bittersweet because they know that now the sun is rising and they'll have to quickly and secretly return to their homes before the general villagers wake up and move around and discover uh, that they have been secretly meeting. It will make a big scandal in the village. So they have, though they are together, but they feel the bhavi viraha, the pain of inevitable and impending separation in meeting. Uh, that is our Mangal art. Очень такой удивительный момент, когда Радхи и Кришна утром просыпаются в Никунже. Они вместе, но они знают, что сейчас им предстоит расстаться, и сейчас им предстоит всем пойти по своим делам, чтобы никто в деревне не заподозрил, что они таком встречаются. Это момент очень горько-сладкий, потому что, несмотря на то, что они вместе, эта разлука неизбежна. Симати Радика will return to Yavad secretly and Krishna to Nandagaon. Радика секретно вернется к Яваду, а Кришна в Нандагаон. In the morning. Then Krishna will wake up and milk the cows. Then come back to Nandagaon to take a bath and be ready for his meal. 
тогда он, он, он вернется домой, примет омовение и будет готов э, кушать. Радарани will come from Yavat on the request of Madhyashoda to cook Krishna's meal in the morning. А Радика придет из Явата к маме Ишоде, чтобы чтобы готовить завтрак для Кришны. So it's the great joy of a wife to cook for her husband and then feed him. But Radika, she can cook for Krishna and then from a window in a balcony look and from far away secretly relish how he's eating her uh, cookie. Для любой жены это большое счастье готовить для мужа и кормить его тем, что она приготовила. И Радика вот так вот по секрету, вот так вот готовит по просьбе мамы еще для Кришны, и потом по секрету вот украдка она подглядывает с балкона за тем, как он ест. So in this way she relishes her relationship with Krishna, but not openly. The love is hidden, and when the love is hidden, when it is has to be suppressed, then the pressure increases more and more and more. So Rusil Rupa Goswami revealed this is sweetness of the Parakya Lila. И uh, Радика вкушает эти отношения с Кришной, но она делает это uh, в тайне, вот кратко, она относится, она находится под огромным давлением. И тогда, поскольку она под давлением, то ее uh, любовь все растет все больше и больше, становится более интенсивной. И Шрила Рупа Госвами явил эту сладость uh, Then, для всех. See, Krishna will take the cows out to graze in the meadows. Uh, затем uh, Кришна идет uh, пасти коров на луга. And on the pretext of worshiping the sun god, Radharani will go to Surya Kund. But she will leave her paraphernalia there and quickly go nearby to Radhakund and meet with Sri Krishna there. Vaikuntaj Janito Varei Madapuri Tatra Pirat Sotsabad Brindaran Yamudara Pani Ramanat Tatra Pi Govadanaha Radha Kundam Mihapi Gokula Pate Pari Mamrita Plavanat Koriya Dasya Girit Tose Vam Viveki Nakaha Srila Rupa Goswami Pad, he said that uh, Mathura is superior to Vaikuntha, but Brindavan is superior to Mathura. So at that time all devotees were thinking there is no Leela higher than the Rasa Leela in Brindavan. But Srila Rupa Goswami Pad revealed but the Leela at Govardhan is higher and among them the Radhakund Madhyan Leela, the midday pastimes of Radha Krishna at Radhakund, they are the highest pastimes of all. The other mm, acharyas of other lines, they like birds can fly so high in the sky. They had flown so far. But by the mercy of Mahaprabhu Rupa Goswami flew the, into the revelation of the highest Leela, that is Radha Krishna's Madhyan Leela in Radha Kund. И Шрила Рупа Госвами открыл, что лилы, которые происходят на Гвардхане, а так находятся еще на более высокой ступени. И на самой высокой ступени находятся матер лилы Шрилы Радхи Кришны на Радхакунде. И подобно тому, как у птицы есть предел, насколько высоко она может взлететь, так Шри Читания Махапрабху полномочил Шрилу Рупа Госвами, чтобы он отправился на самые удивительные высоты и открыл это. To serve Radha and Krishna in the various locations of Brad, especially in the midday at Radha Kund, this is the Swarasiki Upasana. So don't forget what is the Manobishta savor of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and our Acharyas. Two things. What is the first one? Uh, to go into the writings of Rupa Goswami which are leading up to revealing the glories of Radhika's Madhanakya Mahabha. Uh, and the second part? Kevala uh, Madhurya Mai Swarasiki Upasana. One, you know when Srila Rupa Goswami was writing his books, if he was writing about Radha Krishna's separation, he would weep and all the leaves and flowers would fall from the trees around him. 
Когда Шиларупа с вами писал о разлуке Радхи и Кришны, то он плакал, и все деревья вокруг него просто осыпали его листьями. And then afterwards, if you would write about the joy of Radha Krishna's meeting, then all the flowers would open. You must have been writing about their meeting today. А если он писал о встрече Радхи и Кришны, то вокруг него начинали расцветать цветы. Наверное, сегодня он писал об встрече. One day, Srila Sanatan Goswami Pad came to him. He said, can I see what you are writing? So then he looked at one verse. Nava Goro Chana Gaurim Pravarindi Varam Varam Manistabaka Vidyoti Your complexion is like golden gorochana. You are decorated in a very beautiful blue cloth like uh, sapphires. And your lung vein, your lung braid, which is decorated on top with jewels, appears to be like a, a serpent with a jewel on his head. Srila Sanan Goswami said, Oh Rupa, a snake is full of envy, but our Radhika is full of love. A snake is full of poison, but our Radhika is full of Amrita nectar. So I think that this comparison is inappropriate. Rupa Goswami Pad said, then you can suggest an alternative. So Rupa Sanatana Goswami is a brilliant author. He began to sing, but no, for the first day in his life, no idea came in his mind. He said, I'll think about it and uh, perhaps correct it later. Then when Srila Sanatana Goswami Pad was doing Parikram of Govinda, he came to Radha Kund. And there he saw some very beautiful young girls and they were pushing their friend on a swing. They were very sweet and laughing and joking together. Oh, and the girl on the swing was more beautiful than Lakshmi Devi. But then he noticed behind her was a very dangerous black snake. So he ran to warn her, oh Lali, Lali, be careful. And as he approached that scene, oh, everyone and everything disappeared. And then he realized, oh, it was Radhika and Lalita, Vishaka and her Sakis. And then he went back to Srila Rupa Goswami. Srila Rupa Goswami part said, did you think of an alternative for this verse? Srila Sanatana Goswami part said, whatever you write, He's fine with me. <laughs> the meaning is this, that every word that Srila Rupa Goswami Pad has written, he realized it first and then he wrote. There's no imagination or um, artistic creation. Everything has come in his samadhi, in his trance, and from his trance he has manifested that eternal, transcendental reality to the world in his poetry. So, especially Rupa Goswami, in his books he described Santaras, Dasaras, Sakaras, Madhurya Rasa, especially Madhurya Rasa. Uh, 
But if you follow Rupa Goswami's Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, then you will not be fully Rupanuga, a follower of Rupa Goswami. Even if you follow his Ujjwala Nilamani, which is a specializing in Madhuri Rasa, you will not fully be Rupanuga. A follower of Rupa Goswami. Because in those books he has described everyone else's moods, but he did not describe his own mood. So he has opened his heart eh, in Gandhava Sampratanastakam, Karpanya Panjika Stotram. In Chatu Pushpanjali, and especially in his last poem, his swan song, the most beautiful, it said the most beautiful song of a swan is the last song he sings before he leaves this world. So the swan song of Srila Rupa Goswami is Sri Utkali Kavallari. И в своей прекрасной поэзии Шила Рупа Гасвами описал свое настроение. Вот книги, которые называл Грудета, особенно Шиут Калика Валлари. Это сборник стихов, который подобен последней лебединой песне Шила Рупа Гасвами. Говорится, что последняя песня Лебеда самая прекрасная. И вот именно эта песня, именно эта поэзия является самым удивительным, что написал Шила Рупа Гасвами. Пропадья Бриндавана Маддамика Крусам Асов Utkalika kulatma Udgatayami jwalato katuram Vaspasya mudra ridimuditasya Srila Rupa Goswami Pad said, I am here taking complete shelter of this divine enchanting forest of Vrindavan. Srila Rupa Goswami said, I am here and I take full refuge of this beautiful and charming forest of Vrindavan. And I am feeling in my heart the extreme uh, anxiety when will Shimati Radhika accept me into her eternal service today I open my heart and through my poetry I will show the scars which are there which have been burnt in my heart by the hot tears of separation, I am continuously crying within. So this is what it means to be Rupanuga, to completely immerse your consciousness in the desires, the aspirations, that have been expressed by Srila Rupa Goswami Pad in his Utkali Kavallari. He's saying, oh, when will that day come? When Radha and Krishna, they have been playing in Radha Kund. Sometimes Jul and Lila playing on a swing. Sometimes throwing colors. But now they are very eager to be alone within the Kund. But then at that time, knowing their desire, I will come with a golden goblet of honey wine. И в этот самый момент, зная их желание, я приближусь к ним золотым кубком, в котором будет медовое вино. And place it before Radha and Krishna. И поставлю этот кубок перед Радхой Кришной. And then, see, Krishna will look at that, and his thirst is increasing. Кришна взглянет на кубок, и он почувствует, как его жажда увеличивается. Oh, not for the honey wine, but he's seeing Radharani's face reflected in the honey. And then Krishna is taking, but actually only pretending to drink, not really drinking. And then Radharani, she is very naive, so she would just take and drink and give to Krishna. So there he is drinking and then the other one is drinking, but actually Krishna is not swallowing anything. 
Но Родика очень наивна, поэтому она просто берет и пьет. Потом передает Кришне, Кришна предлагает то, что пьет, но на самом деле не пьет. И таким образом пьет только Радика. Then Radhika... Hmm? What is happening? И вдруг Радика говорит, что, что происходит? Why are the, 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 the trees running here and here? Почему деревья бегают туда-сюда? And she becomes very intoxicated. И она становится очень опьяненной. Then all the words that she would always, the feelings that she would keep inside and not speak, now the break is off the tongue, and openly she's speaking, and Krishna is relishing. И вот эти вот и все эти слова, которые обычно она никогда не выражает все свои чувства, сейчас, ну как бы вот спал замок, как будто бы с ее уст, и сейчас она выражает все очень открыто, и Кришна этим наслаждается. So Krishna said, "You should come and lie down." Krishna said, "Пойди, приляг." This is Seva. Вот это Seva. So Sila Rupa Goswami Pad has expressed, oh, throughout 24 hours of the day, how as Rupa Manjari he is serving Radha Krishna in the most favorable and very intimate and loving way with deep pranay, deep the trust and feelings of oneness with Radhika. И таким образом Шрила Рупа Гасвами описал, как Шрила Рупа Манджари служит 24 часа в сутки Радхи и Кришне наилучшим образом, понимая и сердца, понимая желание, с чувством глубокой праны, единства с Радхикой. So you know that Krishna is very beautiful. Вы знаете, что Кришна прекрасен. But he's more beautiful when he's with his associates. Но он еще более прекрасен, когда он находится со своими сыновьями. If he's with the Rukmini and Satyabhama, he is more beautiful. But if he is in Vrindavan, he is more beautiful. If he is with his coward boys, he is more beautiful. If he is with Mother Yashoda, he is more beautiful. But if Krishna is with the gopis, he is more beautiful. And if Krishna is with Radharani's group of gopis, then he is even more beautiful. But until you have seen Krishna when he's alone with Radharani only, then you have never seen how beautiful Krishna really is. Но пока вы не видели Кришну наедине с Радикой, до этого момента вы не имеете никакого представления о том, как Кришна красив. Even Krishna himself did not know his own personality until he was alone with Radharani by her presence. It's his own personality comes out in such a way even he did not know. И, но Кришна даже сам не знает, не имеет представления о своей собственной личности, пока он не остался наедине с Радикой. So who can relish that sweetness? Only the dasis of Radhika. And the path, how to attain that position of Radha Dasam, has been cleared, and we have been guided along that by Srila Rupa Goswami Pad. И путь обретения Радхадасиям был расчищен для нас, и по этому пути нас ведет Шрила Рупа Гасвами Пад. So, Шрила Нартанда Стагрой Стаин, Шри Чайтанья Мано Виштам, Стапитам Яйна Бутлей, Рупа Гасвами Пад has opened the secret path to the Kevala Madhurya Mai Swarasiki Upasana. И поэтому Шрила Нартанда Стагрой говорит, что Шрила Рупа Гасвами открыл нам эти сокровища и ведет нас so there is no more exalted destination in the life of any jiva. Нет никакого более возвышенного назначения, пункта назначения в жизни любой дживы. So now here before Sri Rupa Goswami, take water in your hand and make a sankalpa. И сейчас перед лицом Sri Rupa Goswami возьмите воду в руки и сделайте sankalpa. Not for the apurva of karma kanda. Не для апурвы карма канды. But a sankalpa. That I make a vow on this day that the purpose of my life is to strive to become Rupa Nuga, the follower of Sila Rupa Goswami Pad. So Sila Narottanda Stako has expressed the highest devotion to the highest aspiration for the intimate friendship and service. To Sri Rupa Manjari. Ah, 
श्रीरूप मंजारी पदा से ही मोरा संपदा मंजारी पदा श्रीरूप मंजारी पदा Hey.
sometimes it happens that the devotee can become distracted from the goal of life. But if you will cultivate the Abhiman of Rupanuga, being a follower of Srila Rupa Goswami, you will always stay on the track. That Rupanuga Abhiman has been embodied to the fullest extent in this prayer of Srila Nakam Das Thakur. Oh, Sri Rupa Manjari, your lotus feet are my only treasure. Oh, my bhajan and all of my puja is only to attain the service of your lotus feet, Rupa Manjari. Your lotus feet are my pran, my life and soul. They are my only ornament. That means without you I have no beauty. Oh Rupa Manjari, your lotus feet are the life of my life. They are the purpose of all my Vedic study. Они являются целью всех моих изучений вед. They are the purpose of all my brats like Kartik brat and Niyam Seva. Это цель всех моих брат, таких как Kartik brat и Niyam Seva. They are the ocean of rasa. Они океан расы. They are the fulfillment of all my desires. Они исполнение всех моих желаний. They are the result, the purpose of all my tapa austerities and all my japa. Они результат всей моей тапы, всех моих аскез и всей моей джапы. Oh Rupa Manjari, if in the future, one day my good fortune rises. Only then will my eyes see your two lotus feet. And the sweetness of the lotus feet of Sri Rupa Manjari will be shining like a moon and my heart will be like the night blooming lotus which blossoms by the rays of the moon. But the speciality of this is that once the rays emanating from the lotus feet of Rupa Manjari have blossomed the night blooming lotus of my heart, it will continue to blossom forever, day and night. Но особенность особенность этого луноподобного сияния лотосных стоп группы Манджери заключается в том, что когда из-за этого сияния, благодаря этому сиянию, раскроется лотос моего сердца, то дальше он будет проследить, и не важно уже будет день это или ночь. О, группа Госвами Пад, я burning from the snake poison of not being able to see you. My separation from you is like being bitten by a snake, and I'm burning in that poison. But snake poison will kill you quickly. But Chiradina Tapita Jivan, my life has been going on for a long time in this suffering condition of separation from you. Ha ha Prabhu Koradaya. Oh Rupa Goswami, please be merciful to me and give me the shelter of your lotus feet. I am fully surrendered to you. Oh Rupa Goswami, пожалуйста, будь милостив, когда мне прибежище от твоих лотосных стоп. Я полностью предаюсь тебе. So we, you should know that our Srila Prabhupada was doing bhajan just here. This was his internal mood. That's why he came here. Вы должны знать, что Srila Prabhupada совершал бхажан прямо здесь. Именно это является его внутренним настроением, поэтому он пришел сюда. This is the actual meaning of the word Krishna consciousness. Вот это есть настоящее значение выражения сознания Кришны. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's line 
is the International Society for this Consciousness. И линия Шкачитания Махапрабху, это она есть направлена на то, она направлена на то, чтобы развить это сознание. Don't be in any other type of consciousness. И не будьте в других никаких видах сознания. So we all very fortunate. Give your pranam here, leave some pranami, and pray that you can attain eternal position here at the lotus feet of Rupa Mandi. Мы очень удачливы. Предложите ваши пранамы и пранами и молитесь о том, чтобы обрести вечное положение у стоп Рупа Манджи. It cannot be attained. Thank you. It cannot be attained independently. Его нельзя обрести независимо. But our Guru Dev is absorbed in that mood. Но наш Guru Dev погружен в это настроение. So when the disciple gives up all Swatantrata independence and mixes his heart with the heart of Guru, then that bar of deep attachment to see Rupa Manjari overflows from the heart of Guru and fills the heart of the disciple. Но как но когда ученик оказывается в всякой независимости и когда он полностью смешивает свое сердце с сердцем Гуру, то тогда вот это настроение глубокой привязанности к Шри Рупе Госвами и сердце Гуру перетекает в сердце ученика. Сила Рупе Госвами пар ки джай, Дия Самади Манди ки джай, Си Сева Кунджи ки джай, Си Рану Тамададжу ки джай, Бри Бриндама Михай Лала ки джай, Бри Сани Вали ки джай, Джей Джей Си Ради. Thank you.